Dear Editor-in-Chief, I know it's been a long time since I last wrote to you, but when you hear what I've been through to get where I am, you'll understand. It all started on the MS Epimeo, the cruise ship that was taking me to Shanghai. Magnificent cruise. Don't you think, Snowy? No, there's no way you can be hungry again. Stop it! Catch it! Stop what? Catch what? Are you all right, sir? The, the kiosk papyrus is blowing away. I'll catch it for you. Uh. Run, Snowy. If we lose sight of it, we'll never get it. Oh, no, it's too far away. If we lose sight of it, we'll never get it. Hey, watch out. Pardon me. No, it's too far away. Run, Snowy. If we lose sight of it, we'll never get it. Hey, watch out! Pardon me. Better slow down, kiddo. Ah, oh, come on, pal. I just mocked that. What do you think we're doing? Get out the bed. You're gonna fall or break your neck. You hear me? Get down from there, I said. All right. Where is it? Where is it? There. Oh, no, not again. Next time you finish mopping, pal. Where did it go? Where is it? There you are. Careful, sir. Excuse me. Coming through. Ha! Huh. Jumping around like that. Hey! Sorry. Goodness gracious! Ooh! Get out of here, scallywag! Oh, It's heading straight for the water. It went into that tube. <laughs> Hello? Has anyone seen it? <laughs> I haven't seen it. There it is. Let's go, Snowy. We've got it now. Why is that boy running? Stop it! I think he stole the papyrus. What? Grab the, the papyrus? That boy's a thief. Scallywag. Stop! Stop it! Oh no, it's too far away. Why is that boy running? Stop it! I think he stole the papyrus. What? Grab the, the boy papyrus? With oh, oh, get away. That boy's a thief! Scallywag! Stop it! This thief! No, no, Let us buy you something to eat. Stop it! 
I'm not a thief. I'm Tintin. I'm a reporter. Tintin? Oh, now that you mention it, I think I read something about you in the papers. I'm uh, sorry. You better be. That document seemed very important to the poor. Hello? He's disappeared. Uh, they snuck up to the top deck, followed by a little pooch. They were looking for some food. Oh, Snowy, how stubborn. Oh, 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 oh. I'm afraid that deck is restricted. Some cinema people booked it. It's just for them. That glutton dog. I have to stop him. Poor gentleman. Well, I guess I owe you, so. with me. Thank you. Oh, sometimes Snowy is like a stomach on legs, you know. But don't tell anyone that I let you win. Where could they have gone? E aí, galerinha, quem fala aqui é o Kotoro, eu tô aqui pra mais um vídeo pra vocês. Tudo belezinha? Resolvi trazer esse jogo aí do repórter Tintin. Não é tão conhecido, eu acredito, aqui no Brasil, mas nos Estados Unidos ele é bem famosinho. E tanto quadrinhos, desenhos, e até live action, filmes, animação. E esse é o jogo mais recente deles, então preciso fazer pra gente dar uma conferida. O gráfico não precisa ir, tá muito bonito, muito bonito mesmo. É... Então, vamos lá. Eu dei um, uma melhoradinha aqui no gráfico, mas mesmo assim o jogo ainda tá dando uns gargalos, dando umas travadas, umas osciladas, como todo jogo que acaba de lançar, né? Fica dando esses brilho de renders aí. E como também o PC não é muito potente, então eu posso exigir morning, muito sir. jogo. Did you see a little dog Prepare to die, Spiegel the Evil Weasel! Who are you? I must start the scene from the top again. But you could have hurt me! You certainly deserve it for interrupting my scene! Ok. Esse jogo tem bastante diálogo, tá, galerinha? Bastante diálogo e... Why is it fall into the water? E como que ele é um repórter, né? Então vai ter bastante partes investigativas, tá? Pelo que eu vi, né? O trailer dele, né? Parece ser nesse ritmo. Tá, deixa eu subir os comandos aqui. O que a gente faz? Dá uma corridinha... Olha só, tem inventário. Ah, temos histórias aqui. Cruzeiro. Só, né? Hello, are you all right? Good morning, sir. Um, may I help you, sir? It looks like you could use the help a lot more than me. If that's your wish, sir, I'd be happy to let you help me, sir. Hmm. If I can help, I can stay here. All right. Let me think. How can we get your head out from? If I may, sir, that might not be the kind of help I'm in urgent need of right now, sir. Would you be so kind as to order me to give you these glasses, sir? Yes, I can do that. 
and then be extremely careful not to lose the ring that lies at the bottom of one of the glasses, sir? Um, yes, I can do that too. And then order me to let you give them to the gentleman who gave me the ring and ordered the glasses, sir? Uh, close to the other stairs, sir? Yes, I can do all of that. Glad to be of service, sir. Uh, please, be quick. Uh, cinema people have a very short fuse, and I wouldn't like them to get me fired. Ok, beleza, nossa primeira missão. Be careful! I'm waxing the floor, and it's slippery. Oh, thanks. It looks like a really tough chore. Are you kidding me? Waxing the floor is the best chore ever. And the lower you keep your head, the less likely people will come and whack it. That's my one and only motto. Ah, também. É justo. Dá pra gente entrar aqui? Não. You just saved my life, young man. And now, on with my life's plot point. My dear Matilda. Oh, breakfast. <laughs> my dear Matilda. There's something I've been meaning to tell uh, you for a long... My dearest Marvin, at last. There's a moment in your life that your heart, uh, my heart, our hearts... Uh, as we grow older, certain things are unhealthy for our hearts. My dearest Marvin, it was about time one of us said it. Oh! Oh, my dear Matilda! So, so you feel the same way? I... We're growing older. And this kind of breakfast is not healthy for the heart. Enough! <gasps> Thank you very much, my dearest Marvin. You're welcome. My dear Matilda. Olha, eu não sei se foi sacanagem. Pode ser que ela viu e jogou fora. Ou o livramento, né? Eu quero é casar com um mestre e, e mal educada também, né? May I presume that you delivered the glasses, sir? Indeed. Now, don't you think it's time we did something about your head? Uh, yes, sir. If that's your wish, uh, sir. So, I'm going to push and... Oh, no, sir. If I may suggest, you might not want to do that. I already tried, but the skin on my neck stuck to the metal bar and wouldn't budge. Maybe I could try to get something that makes the bar slippery enough. As you wish, sir. I am here to serve you, sir. Hello. This cruise ship is named after Mount Epimeo on the little island of Ischia in Italy. Arabian Nights, directed by Mel G. Ford. Lembra nem quem quiser ler, galerinha, para o vídeo, tá? E lê com calma. Não. Tem alguma coisa para interagir? Ah, 
fechado. Careful. Remember, the deck is slippery because of the wax. By the way, there's something I'd like to ask you. Can I borrow your can of wax for a friend? It'll just take a minute. Be generous to people who ask you for wax. That's my one and only motto. got some floor wax. It should help your head slip out of the bars. Um, if that pleases you, sir, I'd be glad to let you do it, sir. Yes. All right. The bars are slippery, so... Time to push! It worked! Ah, yes, yes, sir. I'm glad that makes you happy, sir. Uh, ah, and now, uh, if you'll allow me, sir, I've already devoted a great deal of time to your service, sir. So, have a good morning, sir. Beleza, liberou uma passagem. Vamos lá. Ele é um jogo que parece ser um pouco devagar, né, galera? Então, pode ser que agrada alguns e outros não. Mas a gente está bem no início, né, do jogo. Então, posso dizer muita coisa. It's better not to step on the waxed floor. It's too slippery, as the waiter's head just showed. Knocked all the scripts on the ground. Oh, I'm very sorry. I was in a hurry. I didn't do it on purpose. You're sorry? Come here, and I'll give you a reason to feel sorry. My fists are eager to meet you. I'm sorry again, but I must decline your invitation. Let the midwit go. We don't want to disturb the boss while he's reading a new script. Excuse me, sir. Is my dog Snowy? I've been looking all over the ship for you. Have you no shame? Get out of there right now. I'm sorry, sir. His gluttony has no limit. Thanks for taking good care of my dog. You're welcome, but I don't know of any dog, young man. Tá, esse esquema aqui de narrativas aqui, de perguntas e respostas, não sei se altera alguma coisa na história, mas pode ser que sim, né? Ah... What are you doing there? Can't you see? I'm ruined! Oh, but your boat isn't in the water. That's right. You're very observant, young man. I tried to retrieve your papyrus, but it blew overboard. My papyrus in the sea? 
Impossible. I still have it with me. What you saw flying away was the prospectus of the travel agency. Odd. I distinctly heard you yelling the word papyrus. Have you visited the eye doctor recently? Just five minutes ago. He's the man with the silly moustache behind you. He actually volunteered to change my eye colour for me. Don't you think that maybe you're a little... Oh, no. See what you've done? Me? You and your innumerable questions have made me forget why I was rowing. A shame, indeed. Ah! <clears throat> All the same, questions are signs of an adventurous spirit. So, I'll tell you a secret. A secret about something extremely secretive of the utmost secrecy. So, this red mark on the map here is... The exact location of the Tomb of Kiosk! Oh, what is that curious symbol? I believe it must be the Royal Cipher of Kiosk. And I, Sophocles Sarcophagus, will be the first Egyptologist to reveal his tomb to the world! What do these hieroglyphs mean? They speak of the curse of Kiosk that afflicts anyone who tries to find his tomb. Actually, all the archaeologists who've endeavored to find it have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. If you're interested, why not join me in Port Said's old town tomorrow and we'll look for the tomb together? Certainly. We would like that. Right, Snowy? Until tomorrow then, dear friend. Goodbye, little man. <gasps> oh, uh, I beg your pardon, Captain. What an odd character. Hey, huh? clumsy oaf! Can't you look where you are going? Uh, I'm terribly sorry I mistook you for a Imbecile! Imbecile! Please, sir, control yourself. The gentleman didn't bump into you deliberately. You impudent little whippersnapper! How dare you meddle! Hey, you two! What do I pay you for? Hmm? <laughs> I'm afraid you're gonna be really sorry! Gentlemen, there's no need for this! <laughs> Someone could get hurt! <laughs> my oh, nose! Oh, oh, your nose! Whose nose? Whose nose again? Your nose! Not my nose! <laughs> oh, I hit okay. him! Shut up! On the count of three! <laughs> One! It happened. Two! Three! <laughs> You bungling bunch of bunglers! You call yourself bodyguards? Let's go! And you, you don't know who you're dealing with. The day will come when you'll regret ever having crossed my path. Remember my name. <laughs> How funny. Didn't even say his name. <laughs> His face rings a bell, though. day, after a delicious breakfast, courtesy of a grateful and helpful waiter. All right, Snowy. We'll be arriving in Port Said in just a few hours. How do you want to spend time till... Mm. What? Oh. What's that? Does it smell odd? Can you find where the smell is coming from, Snowy? Olha, agora somos o doguinho. Ah, 
What's that, Snowy? That part of the carpet is wet. Ooh. Except for that footprint. Someone was here just a moment ago. Can you keep looking for that funny smell, Snowy? No, I don't. Fine, Snowy. That looks like ash from a huge cigar. That's the odd smell. Someone who smokes was in our room. Nice work, Snowy. I'll take it from here. some water on the plate. Maybe they tipped the jar over, water spilled onto the carpet, and then they tread on it, which would explain the footprint. My reporter camera is the single most valuable item in this cabin, which means that they didn't want to steal Snowy. You? Ah, beleza. Eu já só vejo a vista. The sign is on the outside of the door. So it wasn't the room service who came in and smoked here. Vocês perceberam? Ele está dando umas umas lagadinhas. Tintin and Snowy save the day. They took that picture at the official banquet the city of Chicago held in our honor after we fought Al Capone. The blonde woman is Mary Pickford, the famous actress, and the man with the monocle. Wait. That's the bad-tempered man from yesterday. I knew I had met him before. Roberto Rastapopoulos, owner of Cosmos Pictures, the largest American cinema company. Mel G. Ford to direct Arabian Nights. Of course, that's the man I saw yesterday sleeping on the top deck. De nós, né? Tá, vou comer esse pedalguinho. The drawers. I'd be appalled if someone had stolen my clothes. Still, no harm in looking. All right, they didn't take my clothes, as anticipated. I don't remember seeing this box before. How did this get? Huh? Is your name Tintin? That is your name, Snowy. Yes, that's us. What? Well, well, well. The tip was true. That's opium, sure enough. What? This must be some kind of joke. I arrest you and your dog in the name of the law. To be precise, I name you to arrest your... Where's your dog? It escaped. We must tell the crew that a four-legged criminal is on the loose. Come with us, you two-legged felon. But 
This makes no sense whatsoever. Sense? Justice will put some... Oh, who put that here? Surely the dog, to stop us. The cunning crook. Let's offer a reward. Hum. Aí então agora eu vou ter que ir atrás dele, né? You, where can we lock up this criminal? Oh, I know it. You can put him in the cellar. That way. Aí eu vou ter que fugir. Quem cara me pega? Lock up this criminal. Oh, ah. I knew it. You can put Substantial reward. Detectives, my husband has gone missing. He was thirsty. I looked in the bar, but we don't have time for that, madam. <laughs> this scallywag tried to rob me. Find his dog for a substantial reward. Detectives, my husband has gone missing. I he was thirsty. Back. I looked in the bar, but we don't have time for that, madam. for a plentiful reward. Goodness, Steph. Ah, velho, que isso? Ela, ela me viu como? Já tá chorando lá. Como é que ela me viu? É, é chata. Find his dog for a substantial reward. Detectives, my husband has gone missing. He was thirsty. I looked in the bar, but... We don't have time for that, madam. A substantial reward. Fica na stealth aqui, né? Thanks. And do tell us if you see the four-legged criminal. Snowy is not a walk, you two-legged trickster. Boy, he's such a cute dog. Why is it so hot in here? My vocal cords are going to dry up before this lousy piano gets tuned. 
maybe you could open that window behind you, sir. <sighs> In the name of the fans of the great actor and singer, Randolfo Bertolino, that's me. Grazie. Glad to be of service, sir. Alguém inteligente, né? Yes. Peanuts? Yes. Tá bem, tá bem. Spring water? No. Hmm. No good. Hair wax? <laughs> yes, you never know. All right. Ice cubes? Yes. Ah, velho, como é que... Uh. Huh? Como é que o cara me viu? É grande demais, hein? Wasn't a rat. Interessante, hein, galera? Bem interessante isso aqui. É diferente também, né? Pra lá, vai pra cá. Que isso, cara? Não onde que tá enxergando eu aqui? letra Besides, this is no place for passengers and your wife is looking for you you know what
Hã? Me viu. Bom, mas enfim, galerinha, o que, que vocês acharam desse jogo? Gostaram, não gostaram? Quais são a... as suas primeiras impressões do jogo? É um jogo que vale a pena ou não vale a pena? Eu vou deixar minha opinião aqui, eu acho que eu acho que é melhor vocês esperarem ter um, um pack de atualização. Pra dar uma melhorada. Principalmente porque dá umas travadinhas, dá umas gargalozinhas. Tá, então... Acho bom você dar uma esperadinha. Então, por causa do preço também tá... 299, então tipo, 300 conto, né? Então, dá uma esperada, né? Mas antes disso, não esqueça de conferir o vídeo aí, o vídeo. E se vocês gostaram, deixa um like. Deixa o um like. Comente o que você achou. E... Comente e se você não é inscrito no canal, se inscreve aí. Lembrando que eu sempre deixo todas as informações do estúdio da desenvolvedora na descrição para quem quiser ter um pouco mais de informação sobre o jogo e na comunidade eu sempre deixo um pouco mais da história após eu ter jogado a minha primeira hora aqui. Então isso aí galera, <risos> que eu tô gravando aquele Sunny aqui. Falou, até mais. Sayonara. Thanks for the key, sailor. The one that opens the cellar is. Don't burden us with details. We're on a mission, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. And now I'm on a mission too. I will find that dog. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. I'll be a soldier again. Left, right. And left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. That coward Left, Tom and right. his rat excuses. And my rank back. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Apologize. 
Left, right. I'll find the enemy dog. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. That coward Tom and Left, his rat right. excuses. If I could prove there are no rats, so Tom could come back. This is a job for more than one person. Left, right. But it's a dog. 